Well, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to walk you through a process that I had experienced a little earlier today. Um, I use Edge and Windows 10, and uh, I was I was kind of the equivalent of two staged here, um, searching because what I what I normally use is dog file. And um, I was using it to pull a YouTube search like this. Yeah, I was trying to find it. It's, it's in here somewhere. YouTube, top choice. And while I was waiting for load, loading like this, it didn't do that. What it did was splash this screen on my on my and start honking a message at me. Uh, and uh, you can, it's hard to read it and everything else. But I'm going to tell you how to save your computer from this thing. Um, it was a hack attack or uh, an attempt. I'm thinking. To, uh, to get control of my computer from me. And what happened was they, I don't know how they got this uh, on my, on my, but it locked the browser, it locked Edge and Windows 10, it locked everything solid. Couldn't click around it, couldn't close it. And it was this, this very ominous message. Um, danger, danger, uh, don't shut your computer off, warning, warning, uh, you're, you're trapped in our system, call Microsoft support, call the number, call for support, there's a Microsoft logo on this thing, it must be Microsoft, right? And uh, call for support, well, there's a number, great, Microsoft is uh, looking out for me, I'm thinking. So I try to call the number while I'm sitting in front of the computer, it doesn't work, the cell phone doesn't work. So I go outside, I have the number, and I call, and somebody very politely answers the phone. And he uh, he tells me uh, right away, the uh, first question I asked him was, well, how do I know you're from Microsoft? Um, how do I know you're legitimate? There's a lot of scam attempts. How do I know this isn't one of them? Well, they couldn't really answer that question. And then um, I noticed he had kind of a Bangladeshi or Pakistani accent. And I know a lot of this stuff originates from that part of the world. They speak English, and I think we're real stupid, and we aren't. We put video tutorials up so we can we can combat them together. If this ever happens to you, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay. The problem you've got is this is uh, you know preventing you from you know you don't want to cycle the power button. Um, it's scary messages. Is like Will Robinson, Will Robinson, danger, danger. So what I did. Um, is I, I poked and hoped, and I found the the, dip, the delete key. Oh, I don't want to do that. I saved this message. Uh, but what I did, Control-Alt-Delete, and I brought up Task Manager. And buddy, I like Task Manager for that. I wanted to get rid of this thing. And the way I did it, Control-Alt-Delete to the rescue. There was Microsoft Edge. I highlighted it. Came down to the little corner here. Hit End Task. And buddy, it was gone. See, he's gone. So that window, which was trapped inside Microsoft Edge, was now flushed into the uh, into the waste bin. I probably need to go in there and, and flush the cache. But uh, just like I avoided a bullet here, I, I think the guy first he wanted me to hit um, the the uh, Windows key and R. And then from there, I think it would have been a merry ride for him to get control of my computer. Somebody simple would have just said, you know, oh, well, what do I do next? And gone on the merry path with the guy. Um, me, I said, well, I'm not in front of my computer. And I wasn't. Uh, and when I came in, I still had that screen on, on the front, front end. 
And um, I, what I did was I hit the, the windows with the W key and it opened up this here. This um, I've never seen this before. But what I did was I picked it and it allowed me to save this beautiful screenshot that uh, if you ever see it, control alt and delete it and rescue yourself from um, maybe malware or uh, you know being ransomed. Uh, thanks for watching. If it, if it helps you, um, how about a thumbs up? Thank you.